to today class today we are going to solve one problem on design of chain drive the problem is given like that design a chain drive to run a compressor from a 11 kW electric motor running at 970 rpm the compressor speed being 330 rpm the compressor operates 16 hours per day the central distance should be approximately 500 mm the chain tension can be adjusted by shifting the motor on slides this is the problem so before we start to solve the problem at least you can read two times then we are going to analyze the given parameters then write the given data the given parameters are power transmitter according to chain drive it is represented as n equal to 11 kilowatt speed of driving sprocket small n1 is 970 rpm speed of driven sprocket n2 330 rpm service is given as 16 hours per day central distance a is 500 millimeter ok now we come into the steps to solve this problem step 1 determination of transmission ratio refer the data book 7.74 i equal to n1 by n2 substitute the value 970 by 332.94 here you can take as it is some problems we need to take the next higher standard transmission ratio since the problem is given the values directly so no need to consult the i table for this problem step number two selection of number of teeth on driving sprocket from data book page number 7.74 z1 is we taken as 25 is selected for i is between 2 to 3 note for uniform wear select odd number of teeth on driver sprocket and even number of teeth on driven sprocket step number three calculate number of teeth on driven sprocket from the same data book page number 7.74 z2 is i into z1 2.94 in 25 we can take the even number that's why we taken as 74 Step number 4, calculate the optimum center distance and select the pitch of the chain. So, we know the formula from data book, A is equal to 30 to 50 times of pitch, where first we calculate B max is A by 30, so 500 by 30, 16 points. 6 millimeter v minimum is a by 50 so 550 10 millimeter so between these two values we need to select the chain pitch so select a standard pitch between 10 and 16.6 millimeter the closer to v max always closer to the v max so from the data book 7.74 we can take in the p value as 15.87 mm for this particular application Step number 5, selection of chain. From data book 7.72, assume the chain to be tubelex and the select the roller chain as 10A to TR50. TR is tubelex type of chain. For this chain, you select the parameters as bearing area is 1.4 cm squared equal to convert into millimeter square 140 millimeter squared weight per meter m equal to 1.7 kg per meter braking load l equal to q is equal to 4440 kg convert into newton multiply by 10 <coughs> coming into next step calculation of total load on the chain from data book 7.78 we have the formula sigma b is equal to p d plus bc plus bs where pt is tangential force 1020 n by v where v is pitch uh, sorry chain velocity <coughs> z1 b into n1 by 60 into 1000 substitute you get 6.42 meter per second therefore pd <coughs> tangential force equal to 1748 newton Centrifugal tension formula is tau u v squared by g, where tau u by g we replace by m v squared 1.78 into 6.42 square, you can get the value as 75 Newton. 
BS is tension due to sagging. BS is K W A, where K is equal to six for horizontal drive. W equal to M into G, 1.78 into 10, 17.8 newton per meter. A is again 0.5 meter. Multiply these three values, we get BS as 53.4 newton. After calculating these three loads, now we calculate total load. 1748 plus 75 plus 53.4. We can get 1876.4 Newton. Step number 7, calculation of service factor. <coughs> From 7.76, 7 KS is K1, K2, K3, K4, K5 and K6. Multiplication. <coughs> Where K1 is 1.25 for mild shock load condition. K2 value is 1 for adjustable support. K3 is 1 for a is between 30 to 50 times of pitch. K4 is 1 for drive is horizontal, we assume. K5 is equal to 1 for drop lubrication system. K6 is 1.25 for 16 hours per day. Next step is calculation of design load. We know the formula design load equal to sigma b into service factor. Multiply these two values, we can get 3002 Newton. Now calculate factor of safety from 7.78 actual factor of safety n is equal to breaking load by design load. Breaking load is 44,400 by 3002 we will get 14.79. Now consulting data book here the required factor of safety is given as 11. <coughs> we find that actual factor of safety is greater than the 11. So, our design is satisfactory. Step number 10, bearing stress on rollers. We know the formula in 7.77, N equal to sigma AV by 1020 KS or sigma equal to 1020 into N into KS by A into V. Substitute the values you get 19.97 Newton per millimeter square. Now we want to verify this value for this consulting table 7.77. Allowable stress is given as 2.24 kg per millimeter square. We convert into Newton per millimeter square. That value is 22.4. It is greater than the actual induced bearing stress. So our design is safe. Next, calculate the length of the chain by the formula in theta book 7.75 L equal to from theta book L equal to LB into B where LB is 2AB plus Z1 plus Z2 by 2 plus Z2 minus Z1 by 2 pi whole square by AB where A suffix B is again given as A naught by P. A naught is initial central distance 500 by 15.875 31.49 now substitute this value in lb formula you get this value as 114.4 we take the next higher even number of links <coughs> that is 116 now take this number of links as 116 multiplied by pitch you get the total length of the chain as 1.842 meter Step number 12, exact center distance. We have formula in 7.75, A equal to E plus square root of E square minus 8A M by 4 into P, where E value is LB minus Z1 plus Z2 by 2, substitute the values you get 66.5. M value is Z2 minus Z1 by 2 pi whole square. Substitute here you get 60.8. Take these two values, substitute in this particular A equation. You get the value as 512.91 millimeter. Step number 13, last step, sprocket diameters from theta book 7.78. D1 is smaller diameter. B by sin 180 by Z1, 15.875 divided by sin 180 by 25, you get 126.66 millimeter. T2 is B by sin 180 by Z2, that is the diameter of the driven sprocket, we get 374.04 millimeter. Okay, so thanks for watching.